Hi there, um, welcome to the eye center. Do you have an appointment today? You do? Um, what is your name? Okay. Okay, you're right, yeah. Um, I will take care of you today. Great. So you took an appointment with the orthoptist. Um, why is that? You have a specific uh, prescription from your doctor? Yes, you do. Can I have it, please? Thank you. Right, so you're here because you're having um, very often migraines, right? Headaches. Okay. Um, have you ever seen an orthoptist before? You know um, what an orthoptist does? No? Right, well, basically, I'm gonna make sure that your eyes are aligned. Because sometimes, you know, uh, for example, in case of migraines, sometimes one eye can work a lot more than the other, meaning that sometimes um, your brain has to level up um, to treat the signal that your eyes receive from the outside world. And uh, when your eyes are not aligned with one another, sometimes this is why you have um, specific migraines or headaches. So uh, I'm suggesting from your prescription that your doctor wants me to check up your vision and make sure that um, if that is the root cause of your headaches that I can fix that for you, okay? All right, well, um, to begin, I will have to ask you a couple of questions, okay? All right, so um, can I have your name again, please? Thank you. Hmm. All right. Um, and how old are you? Okay. From what I can see, you are wearing glasses. Yes. Uh, for how long have you been wearing glasses? Okay. And what is your prescription strength? for these glasses. Okay. Right. Okay, um, do you read a lot? Um, whether books or on a computer? Yeah. And do you take breaks from reading or do you tend to read for hours and hours without any? Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, do you have issues staying focused while you're reading? Do you get blurry vision maybe sometimes? Okay. And when would you say this happens? Okay. Okay, from what I understand, so you do have headaches once in a while, right? How painful would you say your headaches are from one being the least painful and ten being awfully painful? Okay. Okay. Right, um, so are you diabetic? have any more information for me regarding your vision, anything that has happened in the past or specific things occurring um, with your vision. Yeah. And I'm guessing that you've been saying all this to your doctor as well. Yeah. And this is why he gave you the prescription. All right. Alright, well, um, what I suggest for today is that I'm gonna start by checking up your vision. Make sure that um, well, you do not need any new glasses because maybe this is the first step. If indeed you're in need of new glasses, this could explain the he headaches. So really, this is what we're gonna search for first. And then I'm gonna see um, 
well if you have maybe one eye working a lot more than the other and this also could be explaining the headaches okay and finally i will give you a couple of tips um, for you to rest your eyes whenever you get too stressed out or exhausted basically because this can also lead to headaches um, linked to your vision so yeah all right well let's start with the um, reading test okay all right, so for this one, I'm gonna ask you to um, first of all get your two eyes open. Then I will ask you to redo the exercise with uh, one eye um, well closed or with your hand over one of your eyes. And uh, yeah, we can start. Just do not move. Try to be as relaxed and still as possible. And yeah, do not move your head. Okay. So let's start, okay? I'm gonna show you a letter and you're gonna tell me which letter it is. Right, so this one? Yeah. This one? Good. This one? Okay. Yeah. Right? Pardon. Yeah. Mm hmm. Great. Well done. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Very good. Right, all right. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. It's getting harder, I know. Almost, yeah. getting harder, right? Okay. Well, very good. Um, uh, that's it for the two eyes. Now I want you to put your hand over your left eye, all right? And we do the exercise with me. Okay? Great. So let's go again. Almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
almost. Okay, so it, first of all, it seems like your right eye is a bit weaker than the other one. So, you know, this can happen, it's just that um, this eye would have uh, a need of um, a better correction uh, with the glasses for you to see normally. So it doesn't mean necessarily that your eyes are misaligned. So um, I'm just gonna do the other eye right now. So you have to put now your end on your right eye okay and we're gonna test out the left eye all right let's go Good. Right. You see how this part is easier with your left eye. So. Yes. Right. Mhm. Mm Good. Yep. Yes. Okay, so that's very good for the reading test. We are done with this part. Now I have a couple of other exercises for you. First of all, I'm gonna ask you, you know, um, I've got this tool here and I'm gonna ask you to focus on the elephant, all right? I'm gonna use it um, to get as close as possible to your nose and I want you to stay focused on the elephant. All the way through, okay? Right, so it starts. Do not move your head, just focus on the elephant. Very good. Keep going. Right. I know it's getting harder. Very good. All right, let's do this again. You should feel like you're working out right now because this is actually um, intense for your head and your eyes. Very good. All right, a couple of more times, okay? A couple more times. 
focus on the elephant Very good Yeah, how are you feeling? How is it? Okay. Okay. Two more times, right? And that's it. How is it? How are you feeling? Okay, well, this is actually an exercise you can do when you uh, well, you are feeling very tired um, uh, You know, if you feel the need to just close your eyes because you've been studying or working for so long on the computer or reading for a while um, This is one of the things you can do um, the very first one is palming, so basically this is what we do naturally whenever we feel like uh, we've been uh, working a lot and we need to um, well, to uh, distress, let's say one of the things we do is called palming and actually you're just gonna use your hands and put them onto your eyes and make it as dark as possible and just open your eyes underneath your hands and um, the warmth and the darkness should be helping you um, big time um, with the stress you would be under in this situation so keep uh, that position for a couple of minutes and it should help you a great deal second thing is what we've just been doing actually you just have to grab a pen and do this on your own and uh, work to well, stay focused on the tip of the pen uh, of course I would advise you to discuss all of this with your doctor and to do this with uh, me the orthotist really because uh, it is feasible that people uh, perform these exercises the wrong way and can actually hurt um, their vision in their eyes so be very cautious with this okay right so um, well done for this part of the exercise right now i'm gonna do the very same thing but instead of going forward i'm gonna move around okay i'm going to ask you same thing to follow um this time i'm gonna take the cat okay so i'm gonna follow the black cat um wherever i'm gonna be moving it all right so do not move your head or anything just move your eyes and follow the cat okay let's go It's okay if you're not gonna see it anymore, just um, follow it back whenever it appears uh, once again in your vision field. doesn't have to be too fast really if you ever recreate this exercise also at home I would advise um, keeping your glasses for all the exercises actually
All right, well, I think that's it for this exercise as well. I have one more exercise for you. And for this one, I need to know if um, you are epileptic or if you have an issue with strong lights. Because if you do, I cannot do this because I'm gonna work with a bright light and I would rather know before, of course. Okay. Well, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little um, flashlight and I'm gonna, uh, well, uh, ask you to follow the light first and then give you little strokes of light uh, in your eyes. Okay, just to see how your pupils react. All right, so... Okay, let's go. So, follow the light. Yeah, I know, it's not the best light, but we're gonna make do. See, <laughs> see what I said. Okay. Very good, you're doing great. Remember to not move your head, just your eyes. Very good. I'm gonna look a bit more closely um, at your eyes now just to see how your pupils react Alright, well, I think that's it for the observations and the exercises. I'm gonna take some notes now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a feedback on the session and what's next, okay? You did great, don't worry about it. So basically, I do believe that the headaches are caused by your vision. Um, I've seen um, clear differences between your two eyes 
and I'm gonna ask you well first of all to make sure that you take your breaks whenever you are working on your computer or reading um, once in a while I would say around every 10 or 15 minutes I want you to um, stare at something very far away in the room or outside and I want you to stare at it for around one minute you know and this is a little visual a break that you can take very easily which will help you um, well, prevent any vision loss first and it will also help you um, well, not having these headaches okay so that's the very first thing but I still want us to um, have a couple of more sessions uh, to do these exercises and once you can do them properly I would like you to um, try making well, taking these exercises at home as well okay it should be helping you a great deal with your vision in the future okay um, right also also like i said there's this palming situation which you can use uh, whenever you've been working for a long while and you forgot to do the very first exercise when you look at something far away um, if you've been working for a while you can do this palming method when you just put your hands on your eyes and uh, wait there a couple of minutes okay and uh, lastly make sure that you have proper lighting uh, at your desk at work at home uh, make sure that you are not in um, an environment which is too dark making your eyes to work even more and this also uh, may make you lose a bit of vision as well so you should be making sure that you're not in that situation okay all right well i think that we've done everything um well thank you very much for coming today i hope i've been clear if you have any questions do not hesitate uh, to phone to come back well anyway we're gonna see each other again for the exercises but if you get any questions or if you feel like the headaches are getting worse or uh, are disappearing just let me know and um, thank you very much for coming here have a good day